sold as a slave. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. They had weighed him down with fetters, and he was bound with chains, till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Please stand. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, here another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to the tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and the third they stoned. Again he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir, come let us kill him and acquire the inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to the other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you, uh, did you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? But the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and, a, and, a, and given to a people that will produce its fruits. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard this, heard these parables, they knew that he was speaking about them. Although they were attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowds, for, the, for they regarded him as a prophet. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Kapag nakaka-attend na po tayo o nag-attend na po kayo ng misa sa patay, ano po ang madalas na kanta pang recessional? Madalas sabihin nyo, hindi kita malilimutan, no? Hindi kita malilimutan, lalo na ang iyong utang. O kung minsan naman, may kanta na Hiram. Hiram sa Diyos. Hiram sa Diyos ang ating buhay. ba? Diba? Narinig nyo ng ganyan. But that is, actually, kung titignan natin, that is the reality of life. Everything that we have here on earth belongs to God. Lahat, kasama na ang ating buhay. Kaya nga ang tanong dito, ano na ba ang ginawa ninyo sa buhay o sa buhay natin? Ano na ba ang ginagawa o nagawa natin sa buhay sa mga tao na binigay sa atin ng Diyos? Ano na? Pero madalas ito po ay nakaugat sa isang pananaw, sa isang katanungan. Tayo ba ay owner o tayo ba ay Steward, tayo ba yung nagmamayari o tayo ba ay katiwala? The reality of life is this, that all of us are stewards. Lahat po tayo dito, katiwala lang. Kaya nga, wala tayong maipagmamayabang. Ang problema, ito. Kapag ka we tend to force things, to be our own. Sa akin yan, 
Madalas ganyan, di ba? Akin yan. Atin yan. At yan, nagsisimula. Kapag ka nakakalimutan na natin na in this world, we are just stewards. Tayo po ay katiwala lamang. Kasi ang nagiging attitude ng sabi na natin yung mga owners, sa akin to, we tend to use. And sometimes, there is a temptation for, abu for abuse. Isang halimbawa, kapag kayo po'y nanghiram ng sasakyan na hindi sa inyo, anong gagawin nyo? Ingatan nyo. Di ba? Iingatan nyo yan. Bakit? Hindi sa atin eh. Hindi kasi sa atin yan. So, pagkatapos yung gamitin, minsan papawasing nyo pa yan. Kasi nakakahiya na iwanan mo lang na lahat ng basura ay eh, iwan mo nung sasakyan. Kukunin mo lahat, papawasing mo pa yan. At kung minsan, lalagyan mo pa ng gaas, ng gasolina, o kaya diesel. Bakit? Hindi kasi sa atin yan. Pero kapag ka sa'yo, anong sasabihin mo? Ay, okay lang yan. O, ano ba? Itong sa hindi sa'yo, yung sasakyan, minsan ayaw mong pangharabas yan eh. Pero pag sa'yo, kaya okay lang yan. Okay lang magasgasan yan. Atin naman yan. Tayo magpaparepare niyan. You see the attitude? Kapag kayo we tend to own things. Kaya ibang hilong binasa natin, they want to own the vineyard. Eh, hindi nga sa kanila. Katingiwala nga lang sila. Kahit sa buhay natin, sasabihin natin na, Father, sa akin tong buhay na to, Father eh. It's my right. It's my freedom. Ah, totoo po yan. But at the end, you have to consider that your life or our life is owned by God. Kaya napakaganda nung kantang hiram sa Diyos. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that should enter I'm under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord, who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver, Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. And the genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. 
May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal salvation, we pray, O Lord, that we may set our course so well as to attain the redemption you promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for a Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please, please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and afterwards prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. For the prayer for the blessing of the sick, our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them for, from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles and images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.